News 2's Deanne Roberts spoke with the executive director at the D. Norton Child Advocacy Center. Deanne, what did they tell you about this issue? Carolyn, while spending time with Dr. Carol Sawicki at D. Norton today, she says talking to your child about child abuse is one of the hardest conversations to have. But she says it starts with developing a relationship where you can talk to your son or daughter about anything. But Dr. Sawicki says some things may change when parents have an uh-oh feeling of discomfort and think something may be going on with their child even though they haven't said anything yet. She says that's when parents should call and talk to a professional about what's going on that's making their child act differently. Dr. Sawicki says, believe it or not, the, ma the main sign a parent may see if their child has experienced sexual or physical abuse is when they actually say something. The main sign that's out there is when a child says that something's happened. You know, that's that really main thing that it's important that adults stay calm and believe their child um, to get them to somebody whose job it is to actually investigate that um, and not feel like they have to do it right in the moment, but just know that they can tell their child they love them, they're proud of them for telling them that, and they're going to get them to somebody that can help. Now, according to Dr. Sawicki, children rarely tell about physical or sexual abuse right away. In fact, she says experts consider it immediate if a child tells within one month of the event happening, and only one in four kids actually do that. For child advocacy resources, you can find them on our website. That's countonto.com. Reporting in the Alert Center, Deanne Roberts, Count on Two.